Good afternoon. Welcome back. Today, there are impeach Trump rallies taking place all across the country. The events organized by Move On and other left activist organizations. Jackie Heimrich is live in our newsroom with more. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Jillian. About 300 people turned out to that rally in New York, including some members of Congress. The groups behind the protests are called Move On and By the People. They organize support from dozens of smaller groups across the country, including Black Lives Matter here in New York. There are organized events happening in as many as 140 cities today, including at least seven rallies in Chicago, Dallas, and other large cities like Los Angeles. There's one happening right now. The groups point to the Mueller report as conclusive evidence that the president obstructed justice and told his subordinates to do the same. They organized this rally to pressure Democratic leadership to begin an impeachment inquiry. The issue of obstruction made headlines again after the president's interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos. The president was asked about whether he instructed former White House counsel Don McGahn to fire Robert Mueller, but it was his comments on taking dirt from an opponent that spurred New York Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney to show up to that rally in New York today. This is somebody that said, we have information on your opponent. Oh, let me call the FBI. Give me a break. Life doesn't the work FBI. that way. Basically inviting them in. You know, if you send me the information, thank you, I'll read it. So basically saying, I, I don't mind if you're influencing as long as you're helping my reelection. That's, that's clearly wrong. A recent Quinnipiac poll showed 61 percent of people were opposed to impeachment with 33 percent in favor. Now, that being said, the same poll was nearly split on a question as to whether Congress should investigate to determine whether or not to impeach with 48 percent in favor and 49 percent against. That poll also showed 69 percent of people favored bringing criminal charges against the president. The group behind the impeach Trump rallies does acknowledge that impeachment would likely be stalled in the Senate, but says nevertheless those hearings would be a strong antiseptic to the president's policies. This week, though, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said impeachment was not even close in the Democratic caucus. Jillian. All right, we'll continue to follow it, Jackie. Thank you.